Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so I'm using the answer deck for this energy read and the first card is the master. So it's, you about, it's about you taking control of the situation. So there seems to be some kind of choice that you have to make. You're making plans for the future and you're taking control of that situation. You're definitely an expert at what you do. So you're very, very good at what you do. And, um, you know, uh, maybe you're surveying or you're deciding. So you've got your hands, uh, the hands behind the back over there. So just sitting back and watching or, or trying to decide what to do. So you're, um, you know, you're probably weighing the pros and cons at this particular moment to decide how to proceed next. You've got that stop, look and listen card. So you are are standing back a little bit some kind of big decision that you have to make uh, so you're being very very cautious uh, and you are uh, you know um, maybe you're asking for some advice as well but you are uh, assessing the situation and trying to decide what to do uh, you've got the fame card over here so some recognition for whatever you've done uh, coming in for you soon uh, where you're going to be in the spotlight as well so in the past, you've undergone a lot of growth. You're on your journey over here. Uh, you've made a decision, uh, it seems, here, um, you know, and there's been a lot of growth that came in for you. You're using a lot of your talents as well. So you are digging deep and you are using all that knowledge that you accumulate to get, uh, you know, to get going in life, really. So going into the future, you've got the lady card over here and the confusion card over here. So there's somebody that's uh, coming into your arena that might be causing a lot of confusion over here. Uh, you know, somebody that uh, is um, maybe presenting some kind of obstacle. Uh, maybe they bring in some kind of news for you um, that causes this kind of chaos as well. So somebody presenting some kind of um, maybe bringing in information that has you uh, doubting or has you questioning what to do next. So those are the energies going on for that particular week. So I'm going to be using the Pagan Ways Tarot for the main read. And let's see what it's got to say. I have put the deck in the description box, so please have a look. I have shuffled this deck, so let's see. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Wands over here. So there could have been an offer that has come in for you, and you are carefully considering it. So you might be even discussing it with uh, people around you. You are getting their opinions about what you want to do with it. But you're looking into this offer very, very carefully. It seems to be a very, very sweet deal as well. You've got a flower in a hand over there. Uh, so there has been other offers that have been around but it seems like this particular one is something that you're considering. Uh, and it's some kind of project that you have to do, and it might involve a lot of travel, and it might involve a lot of collaboration with a lot of people. And it's going to produce a lot of benefits and a lot of rewards. You can see it's very green over here, so it's going to produce a lot of abundance. So maybe it's some kind of offer that's going to pay off pretty well, and you are now in the process of trying to make a decision about what to do about it. So you are getting some opinions uh, from people around you. Now you've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is the practicality card, and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So both these are money cards. Uh, so working very hard will produce a lot of uh, you know, money. So you are going to be very, very focused on that job, but it's going to also have a very, very good payoff. So it looks like you might be ending this old job that you're doing, and you might get some kind of payoff from it. Uh, and you're going to be starting off maybe something brand new, uh, where you're going to be very, very focused on that particular work, and that's going to bring in a lot of rewards as well. So this is a new job offer that is being considered by you. Uh, like I said, it could involve travel, uh, but it's going to produce a lot of abundance and a lot of uh, financial rewards. And you've got that Ten of Pentacles ending off in an old work cycle. So in the past, you've got the Truce card over here, the Four of Swords over here. So you have been sitting down and discussing your plans with people around you and coming up with a new strategy or a new plan. Uh, it seems like you had some time out 
uh, from this particular situation and you've had to actually review everything so you're coming up with a new strategy or new plan and you've gotten some information or news coming in as well about it so you have been asking for some advice from people around you with that four, four of swords you were very very stressed out from that particular job that you were doing or you have been very very stressed out this could have been also getting over some kind of illness uh, because of that stress uh, that you've been going through now so a new opportunity coming in for you here um, and this particular new opportunity is going to give you much more control. You've got the Four of Pentacles, and it's going to bring in a lot of wealth as well, because the you know the Four of Pentacles brings in stability. It allows you to uh, you know have enough money to put aside, and uh, this man's sitting on the money over here. So it looks like there's a lot of money that's going to be coming in with this particular job. Maybe also you know you're a bit reluctant to leave this old job because it's been very comfortable for you, and you know it's uh, going to take uh, a little bit of effort to actually make the move to this new particular. Uh, job so that's why you're you're really thinking about it very carefully maybe also this new this old job that you have is not being paying the bills uh, like you wanted it to and you've had to do a lot of saving you know live very very meagerly and this is maybe the reason why you're considering getting a, a you know ending it with this uh, ten of pentacles ending of an old uh, job cycle or work cycle and moving on right so you've got the nine of pentacles so you do want financial independence over here and you know you are this is what's in your mind you are thinking about the money and you are thinking about um you know what you can get out of starting this brand new job so this has been playing on your mind quite a bit you want that financial security you want that independence and you also want to be able to enjoy uh you know the fruits of your labor as well with this nine of pentacles so you are really considering you know, money is a lot uh, it's a big important factor because you have been, uh, you know, almost in a state of lack with this Four of Pentacles. Stable, but still having to, you know, um, really watch those coins. Now going to the future, you've got uh, the Two of Wands. So you are facing a crossroads over here. You are trying to make a decision. Uh, and it looks like you will be leaving behind that old job and moving forward. And it looks like this new job is going to give you a lot more um, authority. Uh, you've got the Dominion card over here. So focusing on that manifesting. This is the card that's related to the Magician. So once you take on this new job, it looks like you're going to be really, really busy. Um, you know, and you're going to be in charge of things as well. And you're going to be leaving the old behind. So you are moving forward and it looks like, you know, you are at that crossroads at the moment about whether to go or whether to stay. So you got the three of swords over here. There might have been some kind of legal issues that you were dealing with. This is the sorrow card. It's the heartbreak card. Something happened within this old job that you uh, have been doing that has caused you to... Um, maybe this is the reason why you want to leave. Apart from the fact that it has not been very, very financially lucrative for you, uh, there was also some kind of, uh, you know, there may have been some miscommunication. People may have backstabbed you. Something that caused you a heartbreak. So uh, there was a lot of upset that went on over here. There was a breakdown of communication and maybe a betrayal that happened within the job itself. And maybe this is the reason why you want to move forward. Now you've got the King of Earth over here. So that's what's going on for you. So there's that new job offer coming in for you. And it looks like it's going to be uh, something that pays off pretty well, um, you know, and it's going to put you in charge as well. So uh, authority coming in for you and money, it's going to bring in more money as well. Now you've got the Knight of Cups over here. So there's that new offer. You're waiting for that uh, offer to come in. So this is in your hopes and fears. So you're waiting for that offer to come in for, in order for you to move forward. You're, you're at a standstill at the moment and you are waiting for this new offer to come in. And it looks like it's going to be coming because you've got this King of Pentacles bringing in this offer so there's some kind of business offer that is coming in for you and it looks like you're going to have to make that decision in order for you to move forward so going into the future with the eight of pentacles you've got the high priestess and the fool so it looks like you are definitely moving on with the eight of pentacles this new job offer is going to bring in a, a lot of money but it's also going to mean that you're going to do some further studies, the opportunity for study coming in and an opportunity for you to further your career. So learning new skills, uh, you're going to get a lot more inspiration in whatever you're doing and you're going to be very expert at what you're doing as well. And you're going to be very, very focused on this particular job. You've got the high priestess over here. So this is a card that's talking about, uh, you know, also making some kind of decision. But also you're having a lot more control and dominion over whatever you're doing. So maybe there's some travel also involved over here. But there's also a lot of study that's going to be involved with this new job that comes in. So you're going to be very, very involved. Um, you know, and working very, very independently as well. 
uh, with the high priestess. But the high priestess says also have some patience because this is going to be coming your way, but you just have to wait. So there's some divine timing that's in operation over here. But it looks like this new job is going to bring in a lot of learning and that opportunity for study and bring in a lot of money as well. And it's going to be a brand new beginning for you. So you've got that full card over here and you do, do need to go for it. This is a card that counsel that you do need to take that leap of faith in order for you to transform. Even though you're feeling a bit lonely and isolated and, you know, um, maybe, you know, you're not quite sure about what to do. It's a, t it's a time for you to let go of your fears and go for it. So it looks like there's a lot more studying coming in and that's going to bring in the money. So it's, it's something, it's this opportunity that comes in for you is going to allow you to further your career. It's going to give you a lot more dominion, a lot more power in your hands. Uh, you know, you will end this old job. Maybe this new place that you're going to work in is, uh, you know, a very established company because you've got that tradition card over here. But whatever the money that comes in, you know, you just have to be putting in that hard work. It's going to allow you to accumulate a lot of finances. Maybe you'll also get a payoff from leaving this old job as well, some kind of settlement as well coming in. Uh, but you're leaving it because, you know, something happened. There was some crisis uh, that caused you to be very upset. And, you know, you feel very betrayed in this old job that you did. So you are now trying to move on. Now, you've got that Eight of Autumn over here, which is uh, the still the same as the eight of pentacles so it looks like this is definitely coming in for you do more research before proceeding education in the form of cinema seminars going back to school or apprenticeships excellent craftsmanship excellent craftsmanship and long-term plans so it looks like you know you've got two eight of pentacles over here so this new job is definitely going to bring in study and it's also going to bring in the money that way and you're going to be uh, you know um, learning a lot as well you can see this little girl studying um, but also uh, making a lot of money as well. So this is definitely a new opportunity that's going to open a lot of doors. You've got the lover's card over here, so you have to make that choice and decision. And choice is made from the heart, a return of good help. So it looks like there's a big decision you have to make. Uh, you have got that dominion, the two of wands, making that decision about leaving something behind and going forward to manifest. So this new job opportunity is now going to open the doors for a brighter future and you've got the star over here so look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains happy changes that bring relief from challenging times so with the star card it's a card of victory it's a card of manifestation it's a card of all your hopes and dreams coming true but you have to make that decision so it's all lying in your hands right now but it looks like it's a very bright future for you and you know whatever this new job is is going to open a lot of doors for you and you're going to you know make a lot of progress so don't be afraid you take that leap of faith and don't be afraid to do it because it looks like you know it's all going to pan out in your um it's going to pan out in your best interest and it's all going to be really good for you and it's going to bring in a lot of money with that king of pentacles as well there's a lot of uh, progress as well in your career if you accept this opportunity. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.